Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 21st of 2023 well, it is titled Solar Eclipse from Western Australia. So what do we see here? Well, here is an image from yesterday in Australia on April 20th, when the moon passed directly in front of the sun and blocked it out. And in fact, we see three images here. And the total phase we see at the middle lasted just over a minute. So barely lasted a minute and the amount how long an eclipse lasts just depends on the positioning at the time, how far away the how far away the moon is how far away the sun is that changes their apparent sizes in the sky and will affect the eclipse. So here we get to see uh, an example of this and at the top and bottom we see right before and right after the eclipse. So we can see the little little bits of material kind of streaming through the valleys of the moon. So you see that in the lower image right on the top and in the top image at the bottom. That is little bit of sunlight and showing that the moon is not a perfect sphere, but actually has mountains and valleys in it. So the lower areas sunlight is still sneaking through, even though on the other ones it is completely blocked. In those two cases, we can also see prominences, signs of solar activity around the edge of our sun. And though that is material that has been lifted off the sun by the solar magnetic field. Now the activity of the sun is getting more and more intense as the sun approaches solar maximum in the next couple of years. So we'll see far more of these prominences. However, they're only visible during the eclipse or with special equipment that can block out the light of the sun. We can't see them just looking at the sun, even through a telescope uh, specially designed for, the, for to look at the sun, because the brightness of the sun would block these out. We need specialized equipment or an eclipse to be able to see this kind of effect. Now here we see those we also again see the moon passing in front of the sun. That is the new moon A solar eclipse will always occur at new moon when the moon is in the same direction in the sky as the sun. Now eclipses tend to come in pairs so you tend to get an eclipse and you either had an eclipse somewhere in the world two weeks before that or about two weeks later and that would be a lunar eclipse which would occur during full moon and here we had do have on May 5th the full moon will just miss just miss this and just be what we call a penumbral eclipse. So we will not go into the deepest part of the shadow. We will get a penumbral eclipse where part of the light from the moon is dropped and blocked out. It's a little bit dimmer than normal, but it won't be a great eclipse to go see. Of course, we do have a solar eclipse coming up in October that will be visible in the western part of the United States so western part of North America the tr the path will go through and a chance to be able to see an eclipse there and of course a little less than one year from today we do have an eclipse that will go through the eastern portion of the United States this will be a total solar eclipse much as we see here the one occurring in October is actually called an annular eclipse in that the moon will be far enough away that it will not quite be able to fully block the sunlight at that time so we'll have a ring of sunlight around it in the annular eclipse. So here we get to see the eclipse from just yesterday in Western Australia, when the Earth's moon passed in front of the sun blocking out its light. So that was our picture of the day for April 21st of 2023. It was titled Solar Eclipse from Western Australia. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.